then getting to their fourth round picks with their second safety, Jamar Johnson, a guy I really like and wasn't sure if he would actually be a pick for the Broncos. I mean, his tackling issues, I highlighted a lot when we were live during the draft. And I'm going to highlight it here again. He missed 18 tackles in the last two years in college. That is a 22.5 missed tackle percentage. That is not good. That is a lot higher than even typically Vic Fangio has gone for. I think his previous high for missed tackle percentage was a guy at like 15 or 16. And another and the other safety in this isn't that far behind that either. So it's definitely a big step forward in the missed tackles. But what he brings in coverage is something that the Broncos clearly valued. He's a guy who will get his hands on passes. He had four interceptions last year and four pass breakups. He allowed a total of a 27.5 passer rating when targeted. And in his career, over three years in, at Indiana, 32.2 NFL passer rating when targeted. That is a very low number. That is something that you want from your safeties. He has a total of seven interceptions and six pass breakups in his college career. He is he, He's a ball hawk. He gets his hands on the ball. And he has a chance to compete for that number three safety spot. Because quite frankly, Trey Marshall, um, P.J. Locke, they're not guys that they just don't cut it. They're not. They're way down the depth chart type safeties. They got to upgrade that number three spot. Jamar Johnson and the other safety they took are going to be competing for that. I don't think Jamar Johnson offers up as much on special teams as the other safety does, the other one that they drafted, but he offers a lot more in coverage. So he might have the edge as the number three safety because of his play in coverage and because of the fact that when they throw him in there, they can bring Kareem, uh, Kareem Jackson down to the box a little bit, play a little bit closer to the line of scrimmage and not have to worry about the tackling ability or the physicality that Jamar Johnson just doesn't quite bring as you wish he would. And then the other safety, as I hinted at, Caden Stearns, he's a little bit more safe. He's not as good in coverage, but he's a little bit a little bit better as a tackler. I mean, he has 15.6 missed tackle percentage, 31 missed tackles over his career. He only missed eight last year, which was his low. So that's a good thing. He actually progressed with his tackling a little bit and cut back on the missed tackling. He's a guy that on special teams, he's the one I'd be looking at to have the bigger impact on special teams right away than Jamar Johnson. Just Not just because the tackling ability is a little bit more refined, though not great. It's the athleticism that he brings. Jamar Johnson's a good athlete but Caden Stearns is a special teams type athlete. And it's very hard to describe what I mean by that. It's just with how he, I, I, yeah, I can't figure out how the best way would be to really describe what I mean by he's a better special teams athlete. He's a guy who can avoid the blockers that are going to be happening on special teams. He's a guy who can get the down, get downfield quickly and get right next to the, um, the punt returner and disrupt the punt and not make it clean all sorts of things like that. He provides a lot of versatility. He's a little bit more safe when it comes to defense than Jamar Johnson is. He doesn't have as high of a ceiling, but he has a little bit higher of a floor. He projects best, in my opinion, as a number three safety. Not a guy who you really want starting, but a guy that you can have subbing in, coming in when you go into three safety looks, things like that. And that's where he seems to be best at when it comes to the NFL. But again, it's going to come back to having to stop or clean up that tackling issues. When it comes to his play in coverage, I mean, it, it's iffy. I mean, he allowed five touchdowns over his career, five interceptions, and seven pass breakups. It's definitely not quite on that level Jamar Johnson is, but he's a little bit more consistent as a run defender when it comes downhill and filling his lanes. So I think that what we'll see is we'll see him kind of be a developmental piece. We'll see him on defense a little bit, but he's going to be that number four safety behind Jamar Johnson, I think, with Jamar Johnson coming in and with what he brings in coverage being a little bit better and a little bit more consistent than Caden Stearns and Caden Stearns having the bigger impact on special teams than Jamar Johnson. 